Kawaja Muhammad ibn Muhammad ibn Hassan Tuzi, better known as Nazir al-Din Tuzi, was a Persian polymath and prolific writer, an architect, astronomer, biologist, chemist, mathematician, philosopher, physician, physicist, scientist, theologian and Marjatak lead. He was of the Ismaili, and subsequently 12 Shia Islamic belief. The Muslim scholar Ibn Khaldun considered Tuzi to be the greatest of the later Persian scholars. Biography Nazir al-Din Tuzi was born in the city of Tus in medieval Khorasan in the year 1201 and began his studies at an early age. In Hamadan and Tus he studied the Quran, Hadith, Shia jurisprudence, logic, philosophy, mathematics, medicine and astronomy. He was apparently born into a Shia family and lost his father at a young age. Fulfilling the wish of his father, the young Muhammad took learning and scholarship very seriously and traveled far and wide to attend the lectures of renowned scholars and acquire the knowledge, an exercise highly encouraged in his Islamic faith. At a young age he moved to Nishapur to study philosophy under Farad al-Din Damid and mathematics under Muhammad Hasab. In Mosul he studied mathematics and astronomy with Kamal al-Din Yunus. Later on he corresponded with Sa'dir al-Din al-Qunawi, the son-in-law of Ibn al-Arabi, and it seems that mysticism, as propagated by Sufi masters of his time, was not appealing to his mind and once the occasion was suitable. He composed his own manual of philosophical Sufism in the form of a small booklet entitled AWSAF al-Ashraf, The Attributes of the Illustrious. As the armies of Genghis Khan swept his homeland, he was employed by the Ismailis and made his most important contributions in science during this time when he was moving from one stronghold to another. He was captured after the invasion of the Alamut castle by the Mongol forces. Works Tuzi has about 150 works, of which 25 are in Persian and the remaining are in Arabic, and there is one treatise in Persian, Arabic in Turkish. Here are some of his major works. Kitab al Shaykhal al Katabuk on the Complete Quadrilateral, a five-volume summary of trigonometry. al tadkara fi al Haya, a memoir on the science of astronomy. Many commentaries were written about this work called Shah al tadkara Commentaries were written by Abd al-Ali ibn Muhammad ibn al-Hussein, al-Burjandi and by Nazim Nishapuri. Aklik i Naziri, a work on ethics. Al-Rishala al-Astral a treatise on astrolabe. Zij Ilkani, a major astronomical treatise, completed in 1272. Shah al asharat AWSAF al-Ashraf, a short mystical ethical work in Persian. Tajrid al Aitikad, a commentary on Shia doctrines. Talkers al Mohassal, achievements. During his stay in Nishapur, Tuzi established a reputation as an exceptional scholar. Tuzi's prose writing, which number over 150 works, represent one of the largest collections by a single Islamic author. Writing in both Arabic and Persian, Nazir al-Din Tuzi dealt with both religious topics and non-religious or secular subjects. His works include the definitive Arabic versions of the works of Euclid, Archimedes, Ptolemy, Autolycus, and Theodosius of Bithynia. Astronomy Tuzi convinced Halegu Khan to construct an observatory for establishing accurate astronomical tables for better astrological predictions. Beginning in 1259, the Rasad Khan Air Observatory was constructed in Azerbaijan, south of the River Aris, and to the west of Mariger, the capital of the Ilkhanate Empire. Based on the observations in this for the time being most advanced observatory, Tuzi made very accurate tables of planetary movements as depicted in his book Zij Ilkhani. This book contains astronomical tables for calculating the positions of the planets and the names of the stars. His model for the planetary system is believed to be the most advanced of his time, and was used extensively until the development of the heliocentric model in the time of Nicolaus Copernicus. 
Between Ptolemy and Copernicus, he is considered by many to be one of the most eminent astronomers of his time. For his planetary models, he invented a geometrical technique called a two-z couple, which generates linear motion from the sum of two circular motions. He used this technique to replace Ptolemy's problematic account for many planets, but was unable to find a solution to Mercury, which was solved later by Ibn al-Shatir as well as Ali Khuja. The 2z couple was later employed in Ibn al-Shatir's geocentric model and Nicolaus Copernicus' heliocentric Copernican model. He also calculated the value for the annual precession of the equinoxes and contributed to the construction and usage of some astronomical instruments including the astrolabe. USI criticized Ptolemy's use of observational evidence to show that the Earth was at rest, noting that such proofs were not decisive, although it doesn't mean that he was a supporter of mobility of the Earth, as he and his 16th-century commentator Al-Burjandi maintained that the Earth's immobility could be demonstrated, but only by physical principles found in natural philosophy. Tuzi's criticisms of Ptolemy were similar to the arguments later used by Copernicus in 1543 to defend the Earth's rotation. About the real essence of the Milky Way, USI and his Tadkira writes, The Milky Way, i.e., the galaxy, is made up of a very large number of small, tightly clustered stars, which, on account of their concentration and smallness, seem to be cloudy patches. Because of this, it was likened to milk and color. Three centuries later the proof of the Milky Way consisting of many stars came in 1610 when Galileo Galileo used a telescope to study the Milky Way and discovered that it is really composed of a huge number of faint stars. Biology and evolution in his Aklakai Nazri, Tuzi put forward a basic theory for the evolution of species almost 600 years before Charles Darwin, the English naturalist credited with advancing the idea, was born. He begins his theory of evolution with the universe once consisting of equal and similar elements. According to Tuzi, internal contradictions began appearing, and as a result, some substances began developing faster and differently from other substances. He then explains how the elements evolved into minerals, then plants, then animals, and then humans. Tuzi then goes on to explain how hereditary variability was an important factor for biological evolution of living things. The organisms that can gain the new features faster are more variable. As a result, they gain advantages over other creatures. The bodies of changing as a result of the internal and external interactions, Tuzi discusses how organisms are able to adapt to their environments. Look at the world of animals and birds. They have all that is necessary for defense, protection and daily life, including strength, courage and appropriate tools, organs. Some of these organs are real weapons, for example, horns, spear, teeth and claws, knife and needle feet and hoofs cudgel. The thorns and needles of some animals are similar to arrows. Animals that have no other means of defense protect themselves with the help of flight and cunning. Some of them, for example, bees, ants and some bird species, have united in communities in order to protect themselves and help each other. Tuzi recognized three types of living things, plants, animals, and humans, he wrote. Animals are higher than plants, because they are able to move consciously, go after food, find and eat useful things. There are many differences between the animal and plant species. First of all, the animal kingdom is more complicated. Besides, reason is the most beneficial feature of animals. Owing to reason, they can learn new things and adopt new, non-inherent abilities. For example, the trained horse or hunting falcon is at a higher point of development in the animal world. The first steps of human perfection begin from here. Tuzi then explains how humans evolve from advanced animals. Such humans, probably anthropoid apes, live in the Western Sudan and other distant corners of the world. They are close to animals by their habits, deeds and behavior. The human has features that distinguish him from other creatures, but he has other features that unite him with the animal world. 
vegetable kingdom or even with the inanimate bodies. Before the creation of humans, all differences between organisms were of the natural origin. The next step will be associated with spiritual perfection, will, observation and knowledge. All these facts prove that the human being is placed on the middle step of the evolutionary stairway. According to his inherent nature, the human is related to the lower beings and only with the help of his will can he reach the higher development level chemistry and physics in chemistry and physics. Tuzi stated a version of the law of conservation of mass. He wrote that a body of matter is able to change, but is not able to disappear. A body of matter cannot disappear completely. It only changes its form, condition, composition color and other properties and turns into a different complex or elementary matter. Logic Nazir al-Din Tuzi was a supporter of Avicennian logic, and wrote the following commentary on Avicenna's theory of absolute propositions. What spurred him to this was that in the assertoric syllogistic Aristotle and others sometimes used contradictories of absolute propositions on the assumption that they are absolute, and that was why so many decided that absolutes did contradict absolutes. When Avicenna had shown this to be wrong, he wanted to give a way of construing those examples from Aristotle. Mathematics Altuzi was the first to write a work on trigonometry independently of astronomy. Altuzi, in his treatise on the quadrilateral, gave an extensive exposition of spherical trigonometry, distinct from astronomy. It was in the works of Altuzi that trigonometry achieved the status of an independent branch of pure mathematics distinct from astronomy to which it had been linked for so long. He was the first to list the six distinct cases of a right triangle in spherical trigonometry. This followed earlier work by Greek mathematicians such as Menelaus of Alexandria, who wrote a book on spherical trigonometry called Spherica, and the earlier Muslim mathematicians Abu al-Wafa, al-Bazdani and al-Jayana. In his On the Sector Figure appears the famous law of signs for plane triangles. He also stated the law of signs for spherical triangles, discovered the law of tangents for spherical triangles, and provided proofs for these laws. Influence and Legacy A 60 km diameter lunar crater located on the southern hemisphere of the Moon is named after him as Nasa Eddin, a minor planet 10269 Tuzi discovered by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Stepanovich Chernikin 1979 is named after him. The K. N. Tuzi University of Technology in Iran and Observatory of Shaymaki in the Republic of Azerbaijan are also named after him. In February 2013, Google celebrated his 812th birthday with a doodle, which was accessible in its website with Arabic language calling him Al-Farsi.